Well, if you thought you had a rough Monday morning waking up, imagine the folks who work at the Washington Park Ice Arena in Jefferson City. When they came to work this morning and found out that their ice rink was a flooded pond after all the rain that they got in Jefferson City on Sunday night. Now, the levels here much lower than what they saw this morning. So they're pumping the water out, trying to get it down, trying to get it out of here, and then they'll have to resurface the ice, but that's gonna take quite a while. And uh, here to kind of tell us uh, more about what happened is uh, Phil Stiles, who works with Jefferson City Parks and Recreation. G give your title again so I don't uh, mess it up. Uh, my title is Recreation Facilities and Special Services Division Director. All right, so explain what the workers saw when they came in this morning. Well, um, our, our first uh, maintenance worker came in about 5 o'clock this morning. And at that time, the whole area was under about 3 feet of water. So uh, that's what he was welcome to. Now, there's a creek, Where's Creek, that's not that far from here. But even during the 93 flood, it didn't get as bad, or at least it didn't happen as fast as what it did overnight. Uh, correct. The 93 flood was more of a slow, gentle um, flooding, whereas this was a flash flooding that came through and, and did extensive damage to uh, garage doors, to the, obviously the ice bed, um, a lot of equipment that's uh, uh, stored down here. So, um, you know, the difference between the 93 flood, too, the 93 flood was probably at higher water levels than here, but it was easier for a long time. I'll try to back up. I don't know if we, can, if we can tell from the outside of these boards here, but can you give us an approximate idea of how far the water had, had risen? Um, the uh, the water, uh, there was about three feet of water in here, so it was probably you know, up to about you know, wet, waist high. Wow. That's amazing. All right, so now you've got to clean up, and then you have to start the process of uh, putting the new ice down. What's the timeline and the optimistic timeline of getting this done? Hopefully we will have everything cleaned up by the end of this week and uh, start making ice as soon as possible. We're hoping, uh, realistically, it will be four weeks per month. Now, Mizzou plays their hockey here. And of course, you have public uh, sessions and ice shows. None of that should be in jeopardy, right, by the time uh, this is all set? Well, we had a uh, ice theater performance scheduled for this weekend. We had uh, we opened last Monday, July 25th, and um, there's about 40 figure skaters who were uh, preparing for the uh, ice theater performance this weekend. So obviously, that's had that has had to be canceled. Uh, we've had some uh, public sessions that were scheduled in here. Um, hockey practices were supposed to start in the next week or so. So. You know, the users are, are disappointed, but they certainly understand. Now, I, I don't know, I'm gonna put you on the spot here, but when the ice is down and that melts, how many gallons of water do you think that is? Can't, can you guess that? I mean, because this looks pretty close to what the, the ice level would be, correct? Maybe a little bit? Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ice, ice thickness would be about one inch, and it looks like it's about one to one and a half inches of water. So you guys have done an excellent job of uh, getting everything out of here and yeah. starting to clean up already. Yeah, when I came in first thing this morning, there was about a quarter of a inch of, of mud all on the, the concrete floor surrounding the, the rink bed. And our park crews have been down here all day cleaning up, and it, it's looking a lot better than what it did at 8 o'clock this morning. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you.